Hello basketball enthusiasts! Today, I'm finally making an appearance from the back of the camera but today, front of the camera, I'm your personal voiceover all this time in Edu Channel Malaysia. Alright, so today we'll be talking about James Naismith. Who is James Naismith? James Naismith is a creator of basketball. He is also a Canadian physical education instructor. Basketball was played differently in the past. Like we know in like the present, people play basketball with the rim and net. But in the past, we literally used a bucket. In the traditional basketball, we use wooden buckets. So he created basketball in December 1891. The rules, yeah? And the rules was officially published in January 1892. All right, so let's move on to the 13 rules of James Naismith. Rule number one, the ball can be thrown anywhere and any direction with one or two hands, like you know, chest pass, bounce pass, overhead pass. Rule number two is similar because you can bat the ball anywhere. You can just like, if you know uh, Kuroko no Basket, they are one of them, like just hit the ball, the Phantom Six Man, yeah. So you can do all that, but you cannot punch the ball and a player like in the modern basketball you can just dribble the ball around but not in the traditional basketball it's like a netball theory whenever you get a ball you only can hold so the ball must be held between hands that's for the fourth rule what i mean between hands is not between your arms you can't hug the ball last time uh, as for rule number five no shouldering no tripping no kicking basically just to avoid fights like this rule has been used all these times even now even in the present not only for basketball i guess it's for any other sports like we know because we don't want any fights and conflicts in sports so a foul is striking the ball with the fist so you can't strike the ball with your fist that is rule number six rule number seven if a side makes three consecutive fouls like in a row it's a basket. Uh, I like that rule. Eighth rule. A goal shall be made when the ball is thrown or batted in the basket. So, but like the ball has to stay in the basket. So rule number nine. Is this nine? Yeah, rule number nine. So when the ball is out of bounds, the ball will be thrown into the field and played by the first person touching it. So whoever the first person touched it, has to throw inbound for the ball. And for rule number 10, this is pretty interesting because like last time we don't really have cameras. So the umpire shall be the judge of the men to decide like how many fouls they have taken. Like has, been, has it been like three consecutive fouls? Has it been like how many fouls has it been made already? The referee still has power because in rule number 11, the referee shall be the judge of the ball and decide when it is played inbound. So in the usual NBA so they'll be holding the ball and judging like whose ball, whose ball, whose ball. He, he'll be deciding. So referee still has more power than the umpire. Uh, the time, but for the past traditional basketball, it's like 15 minutes per half. Okay, it sounds tiring, but it's not really tiring because there'll be break in the middle. So it's around 30 minutes per game for rule number 13. Yeah, yeah, 13. Rule number 13 is as usual. Like, you know, in the NBA, who scores most wins. So, if you score most, you win. Alright, so that us all the 13 rules of basketball. Uh, thank you for watching this segment. I hope you guys will come and watch us again because you guys will be here because I'm going to be here again if they give me a chance, alright? Uh, alright, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Edu Channel Malaysia. Alright, that's all for today. See you guys next time.